Hey, it's Crafty Kitty, and I have a short, well, maybe not short, but a thrift haul to share with you. So give me one second, I'll get my camera set up properly, and we'll go through with what I got. All right, so let's get started on the haul video. Um, the first thing I picked up at very at another at St. Vincent's de Paul was this little basket. Now I saw um, a DIY done with it. It was only a dollar. I saw, sorry, didn't see a DIY. I saw something at um, Michael's where the basket had, um, oh, what is that stuff called? The fake grass. Yeah, that's it. It was all over it, so it looked like a moss, that moss-covered um, basket. So I want to see if I can do it. I don't know if I should. Cause I kind of really like the way this basket looks, so I might just leave it and maybe just add some tufts inside. But we shall see. So that was one thing. Um, this Easter egg wreath. Yes, I know I have another one, and I have the rabbit one I made. But this one was really nice, and it was seventy-five percent off at two twenty-five. So yeah, again, I won't do the math. If you want to figure out the price of it, then you can do it. But I, I just thought it was really nice, bright and colorful, and it's a little different than the eggs that I was using, which are more of a muted color. So, yeah, I really like that. And then I got these little, um, I don't know, they look like little Easter, you know, sort of like from the fairy gardens and stuff. Now I don't. This was $2 and it was 75% off as well. So I really only wanted these two little guys, but they said, it's a set. You got to take them all. And I was like, okay, fine. I can do that. I mean, I do like the teapot with the little mouse inside. I don't know if you can see she's sitting, he's sitting in it, sleeping in his bed. It's really cute. I'm going to use that for decorating the back. As you can see, it's not done yet. Um, behind, as usual, I found this little teeny cake plate. I love cake plates. We all know I love cake plates. And it was 99 cents. And it was um, part of their Easter stuff. So it was also 75% off of this 99 cents, which was fantastic price. And then I have... Well, I don't know why there's a bow on his ear, but I'm going to take that off. And here is a bunny. Yes, I know I have lots of bunnies already, but this bunny was a dollar and he is 75% off. So he only cost me 25 cents and he's cute. And I like bunnies. So, you know, what's one more bunny? But another bunny. Haha. <laughs> no, okay. So I got this little guy, but if you look, he has a nice little collar of roses around his neck. And he's so detailed. He's like, looks a little fluffy. He has to be washed up a bit, but he was 50 cents and he was 75% off. So I mean, wow. What, five cents maybe I paid for this dude? But he's adorable. I just love him. Uh, this is from the Value Village. And I can't remember if I showed this in another video or not because um, I don't remember. But there's this blue bunny. He is, he's like that um, shade of blue they use on the Japanese um, plates and stuff like that. He's very beautiful blue. A bit bright for my taste, but I thought he was, you know, kind of worth it. And he was $3.99. $3.99? I thought he was two ninety. dollars Anyways, $3.99. And then I had a 20% off coupon for this guy at that particular time. So he wasn't $3.99. And then I found this. I really like this. It has its own glass and uh, it was $2.95. It was from the St. Vincent's de Paul. I really like it because uh, I get really dry throat in the middle of the night. So then I had to wake up to go to the bathroom or whatever and get a glass of water. But so now I'm going to use this now to keep uh, water next to my bed. So for $2.95, I thought that's pretty good. And the cup has no chips. There's no chips on the on the picture or anything. This is, an, here's another one, it's a picture that I got. I think it's beautiful. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare I'm trying to get you so you can see. It's in gold. 
And it says, always look on the bright side of life. Um, I'm going to try and do that. And it was, it was 95 cents that she, she gave this to me for. She's like, they just want to get rid of stuff, I guess. And 95 cents sounded like a good price to me. So I took it. And then I found this um, push pin board, cork board. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to put a piece of material or something over top of this and then make it into a nice, uh, and paint the frame. And uh, we don't really have uh, boards like this in our offices at work. So I might take that to work, snazz up my office a bit. Now this little guy here that I found, he is cute. I called him Sir Ruffington because he's very distinguished looking. And he was uh, 95 cents. But I don't know. I thought he was cute. He's going to look cute for my uh, display. I know he's not Easter-like, but Sir Ruffington doesn't have to be. He's a very distinguished young man. So we will put him with the bunnies because we like the bunnies. And speaking of bunnies, bunny! Oh, look at this. I don't know if anybody remembers this commercial where they say, keep saying uh, rainbow sock monkey. Well, I got me a rainbow bunny because he was only none of a sense. But I like him. Look at him. Ooh, who does? Who wouldn't like a rainbow bunny? He's bright. He's colorful. And he's always smiling. I like him. I like him a lot. And then my next thing I found were these, which were pretty cool. There's one more. Ta-da! So it's basically uh, metal pots. I end up paying, holy moly, $4.50 for all of these, which is not bad, I guess. But I'm just trying to figure out what I could do with these. You know, I was thinking maybe if I could put them, somehow angle them like this and turn them into a nice topsy-turvy kind of pot to put flowers in because this is about the only thing that I can grow flowers in. Well, I won't even grow them. I'll just go buy them and put them inside the thing because this, these thumbs, not green. They're more like brown. So my mom tells me to stay away from plants because, you know, that's signing their death warrant basically if they come to my house. So, you know, that's why I have fake plants because I can't kill those. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is for, but I really like the straight edge and especially the curve for when I do, um, my, uh, my scrapbooking and stuff. Uh, I've never seen an actual template like this before. So, and it was a dollar and I'm pretty sure it wasn't a dollar. It was probably a lot of money for that temp, this, uh, thing. What is that thing? That thing is a uh, ruler kind of thing. Uh, the other thing I, things I found were these. They're the hot trivets. Now, I could use, they were only 25 cents each. I was thinking of maybe sanding this down a little bit and maybe staining it a little bit lighter and just using them as trivets. But then I thought um, these would actually make a good uh, decoration using the decals from um, Dollar Tree where you can make your own little signs and stuff or pictures. Uh, I've seen this done on Thrifted Living with Kieran. She she made used the cutting boards and then she took the um, decals, wall decals from the Dollar Tree and she put them across here. Now hers were actual cutting boards I don't, these aren't cutting boards. I'm pretty sure these are just hot trivets. But I think it would work the same way. Um, I'll link her video that she did for the, the little DIY she did in mine down below. And uh, yeah, go check her out. She's got a really fantastic channel. I think I mentioned her in the positive tag as well. Um, I think she's got a great channel. And I think you guys should go all check her out. And if you can, just let her know I sent you. And... Uh, Subscribe to her. She's great. She does nice, great things. Now, here's one thing I really like, and I'm so excited I found it. Bam! How's that? Do those not look like little weenie dogs? They are. They could almost be my babies. We all know I have little weenie dogs. 
This was three ninety nine. I only, I would never normally buy anything that's like this, but they're weenies. Gotta buy them. And what they are are butter knife rests. So you might see these on my tape escape. I love these things. I had found a package of these before, but I'm not quite sure what happened to most of them. I got about three in my van for some strange reason. I'm not quite sure. One on my desk. But uh, yeah, these are to hold your butter knife after you've buttered your buns. Buttered your buns. <laughs> uh, the other thing I found were these green napkins. Now, I think these are really good. Um, they're kind of like a garden green then you know and they're they're just really nice I think they're really fresh looking for for spring and I just bought some from the Pier 1 imports uh, I'll link that video down below as well and I am going to use both of them at the same time just to give it a bit more of a nice effect on the tablescape so stay tuned for that video too for my tablescape as well I will be doing a home tour of the spring decor that I put up uh, so watch for that video too but I and I have oh, oh my goodness and I have a DIY video that I I have to video film first in order to show you what I'm making I am making some napkin rings holders and I think they're going to turn out pretty awesome and I think they'll look pretty cool with those carrot plates that I got um, from Stokes. So I have all these. I got six of them and they were $1.99 for all six. So, and they're really, really strong cotton too. So I really like that, um, that they're like that. So I have that. And then the next thing I got was this. It kind of reminds me of farmhouse. Um, it is just uh, a covered dish. I'm not sure. Let's see. It says D Manny. I don't know what that is, but anyways, it's a nice white kind of farmhouse looking dish. It was $4.99. A bit more than I would normally spend for these things, but I like it. It was really, really, really nice. I just thought it was a very pretty, pretty plate. Um, not plate covered dish so I'm gonna stick that over there. the next things I got were this material now what am I gonna do with this material I'm not quite sure I got another bigger piece here but I might turn it into napkins or I might turn it into a table runner but I thought it was pretty cool look at the birds on here and it's such a pretty color um, it's not really a blue it's more of a green color and here's the bigger piece. So I might have enough to do a table runner, but I'm not sure. The other thing I found was this chevron. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably, uh, yeah, it looks like it's um, a curtain, but I'm not going to use a curtain. I'm going to use it as a table runner. I'm just gonna iron it out and fold it and, and let it be and I know I can hear people laughing. Yes, I can iron when I really choose to. <laughs> um, but I'm going to use this as a table runner and I'll make it smaller because this does cover like the whole table. But I don't want it to cover the whole table. I just want it in the center. So I have that. And then I found this. Wow. Look at this. It's cute. It is so adorable. Like, I, I don't know. It's not, obviously, it's not a professional painting. But look at the little sheep. Is that not so much, very nice for spring? I just like it. It was $1.95. And I thought, yep, I liked that. So that is what I got for my thrift store haul. Oh, nope, I lied. There's more. Now, I had posted a video before, but I took it down because I realized that the, um, the voice, you couldn't really hear me. All you heard was, <laughs> and anyways, so... I figured, eh, not so good, and I couldn't fix it. So uh, I got this crate, this box. It was $4.99, but I had a 30% off coupon, so it was like 
Ooh, the ma I did the math. Um, anyway, so now on the front it has a chipboard tag. So, and it looks like, you know, it's really cool. I really like it. I'm going to use it for my decoration. Then I found in a baggie, this little guy. Yes, it's another rabbit, but he's cute. Anyways, he's going to be in my decor. There was also this guy. Oops, pulled somebody's feather out. He's a salt and pepper shaker. See? Any cute? I can't even show you because he's. If I put him down flat. Haha. <laughs> I'll get my finger out of his eye. There you go. So he's cute. Then I found these. I'm not sure if these are supposed to go together like this or what. Or if they're supposed to be separate. My guess is they're supposed to be separate because I could just see this thing getting knocked over and set flying. So I think they're supposed to be like this and there should have been maybe two of these little chicken feet. But we didn't have chicken feet. So I didn't have another pair of chicken feet. So I thought maybe if I did this and not touch it. But we know that's not going to work because it'll probably fall and break. Then I found a bunch of nests with squash chickens. <laughs> They're all squashed, actually. It's pretty. So they got put into a bag and they were just smooshed. Okay, so the next thing I found was this. Now, I saw something similar to this at uh, Michael's. And it was painted blue and it had a bunny on it. So this was $2.99, less 30%. So... I'm thinking I might find one of my Easter scrapbook papers, decoupage something on the side here, and paint this a nice shade of that blue that I love. So, now is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. So, that's the end of this thrift haul video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, get, please give it a thumbs up. A green thumbs up <laughs> um, and let's all get crafty bye bye